Let's uh, get back to our helicopter shots uh, over central London. So maybe you've heard the name Uber, and by now you've probably heard about the controversy surrounding us. Most of the roads leading into Trafalgar Square here uh, have been uh, gridlocked. So it's about the Uber app. Uh, it's like minicabs, they're taking our work from us. They're doing it on their iPhones. I think Uber has really touched a nerve. The taxi cab versus Uber has been a worldwide documented debate ever since the controversial private hire firm launched. I wanted to bring the debate closer to home and look at whether one of Birmingham's biggest black cab services has been affected. The Hackney Carriage, now more commonly known as the taxi cab, is a 100 year old tradition in the United Kingdom. British taxis are traditionally black, however, because of the long-standing notability of the taxi cab, in central London, 50 golden cabs were produced for the Queen's Golden Jubilee in 2012. In England and Wales alone, there are 178,000 taxi cabs, but is the taxi industry in danger? Many private hire firms have been capitalising on what the black cab service once lacked and this supported by rapidly increasing technology has put fear into drivers all around the world. Because of their national symbol status and a tourist must-see for visitors, to London especially, it is hard to believe that some people don't think black cabs will be around forever. I would like to think that taxis are always going to be around in Birmingham. I would, I would like to think that we're a, a permanent fixture in Birmingham. This is the, the, the traditional London taxi, it's an icon. And there, there's people that will walk past other vehicles just to get into a traditional London taxi. Mohammed Taj is head of the Birmingham Black Cab Association. He drives the TOA Taxis, which was established in Birmingham in 1961. It has up to 300 cabs for booking, which is the largest fleet in the city. Okay, I am a Birmingham licensed Hackney Carriage taxi driver, full time. I've been doing this for a, a while now. I, I think Birmingham is lucky to have a traditional taxi service in Birmingham. Where, and as, as a TOA driver, I know we're one of the biggest fleets of wheelchair accessible cabs mm -hmm. in Birmingham. Private hires can't, you know, can't make a statement like that because a lot of them are just private hire firms that can only private can only provide private hire vehicles. Um, aside from that, TOA Taxis in Birmingham has had a an app running for over two years, and we, we get a significant amount of people ring, booking their taxis by the app, as I, I expect people will do if they want a private hire vehicle uh, on Uber. My understanding is that Uber has a Birmingham private hire operator's license, which they're obliged to have if they are a, a private hire firm. Um, it's, it's perhaps different from other private hire firms because it's just an app and probably not a firm as, 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 as we conventionally understand a, a private hire firm or company to be. Uh, but as far as competition for black cabs is concerned, they can't provide black cabs as far as I know, or rather they're not providing black cabs. So it's not really competition for us, and those in Birmingham that want a legitimate Hackney carriage taxi would have to ring TOA anyway. And whilst Uber may be a, a global organisation, as I'm told, it just arrived in Birmingham, and I, I personally would wish it the best of luck, because as long as it operates within the given guidelines, it's healthy competition for us. If people need to book a taxi, they would, I would expect, still have to ring TOA or use the TOA app to book it. But if they wanted a private hire vehicle, then they may choose to book it via Uber. Welcome to Uber. A reliable ride is always just minutes away. Let's get one. As of March 2015, private hire firm Uber is available in 55 countries worldwide. Uber was founded in the United States in 2009 and by the following year the app launched. Come 2012, Uber was international and it is estimated that Uber will take in $10 billion by the end of 2015. Uber is different to the black cab taxi service as all journeys are determined by mobile phone app, including payment at the end of the trip. Just this year, Uber launched in Birmingham. We spoke to a driver. Uber is a, is a very high standards and a, a very successful business in Birmingham. And he will get up all in the West Midland soon or later, very soon. Do you think it's um, a better form of taxi than the black cab? Of course, Uber is a better, yes. It's a cheap quality service, five-year service in uh, around uh, anywhere. So if you can just click and you get the text in the five minutes, if the late, you will stop and you cancel the job. It's absolutely good for the riders. 
is a soon good for the like my big vehicles but um, good for me is well but small car is more advantage we have heard from both taxi companies and private hire cars on this debate but what do the birmingham public have to say on the matter seeing as they ultimately decide who gets all the custom i spoke to several people to find out which service they prefer i use taxi cabs like every day I use them quite regular to run around, especially after a night out and stuff. Uh, not too often. I use them usually just when I go out and uh, get back so I can have a drink. Uh, I mostly use taxis when I go out on a night out because it's hard to get back home, so uh, I'd rather take a taxi than walk back home. So. I use them like whenever I'm going to the pub or say I've had too much drink to drive. Quite a bit, actually. Yeah, I, use, I use taxis a lot, working in the city, working in pubs, late nights, a lot. See, I've heard of Uber, but at the same time, I don't like Uber. Like, my dad runs a taxi farm company, so like, for me, I might as well just bring him and give him the business instead of going to Uber. Why would you want to be on an app as well? Like, going away on an app when you can just actually speak to someone and get confirmation that you know your taxi is going to be there. Because what if it like, was down or something and you've booked a taxi and your taxi's not there and you're waiting like, as a taxi? Um, I really like using Uber. I think they're a great service. The idea of an app as well is really handy. You know, just hit the app open and you get a taxi almost instantly as opposed to ringing them up and hanging around. I haven't heard of Uber, not really. Uh, yes, I have. I actually first heard of it on a YouTube video. It was like, there was this thing called Uber and I was like very interested. It turns out that it was like a private taxi thing, so I thought, yeah, I'll have a look at that. Yes. I love Uber. They're so good. Like, you can even control what music is being played on your phone through Spotify, which is always good. Say if you're drunk and you want to get home in a taxi, you can have a little dance. <laughs> yeah, they're really good. They're yeah. really reliable as well. Definitely, yeah. More like accurate price as well. Like, you don't get the mugged off because you go over the meter, you know exactly how much you're paying. It's just, and they're nice. The drivers are so much nicer. Black cab all the way. Definitely Uber, definitely Uber. The app is the way forward. Obviously Black cab because I haven't heard of Uber. <laughs> I'll probably try a bit of both depending on like the situation because I like a bit of diversity and it's a, a bit of a change really, so yeah. Uber. Uber, definitely. You can choose your own music. <laughs> That's all you want. After speaking to both sides of the debate, it seems there are many positives to both and ultimately it comes down to personal preference. So is there really any need for either side to be worried about business? In, in a nutshell, there's 1,250 black cabs in there. If, if the private hire industry really was competition for us, we 